Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions and percents, how we can represent them in different forms, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. In the 6th grade you're going to spend a lot of time changing quantities from decimal to percent to fraction, looking at it in a 100th grade or maybe even a number line. But there are some quantities that are called benchmark quantities or benchmark fractions and percents because they are so important you will use them again and again and again. So that's what we're going to look at here. So our very first quantity, I'll write it to you in the decimal form, standard form here, is one hundredth. And so 0.01, .01, think of it like a penny if we're dealing with money, as a fraction is written as one over one hundred. One hundredth, read the same way because the place value there is in the hundredths place, and as a percent, it's going to be one percent. Remember when you change from a decimal to a percent, you simply move the decimal place twice to the right, and then you can drop those two zeros there. Your decimal is right there, so that's going to be 1%. So that's fairly simple. Now, if we're looking at our number line here down on the bottom right-hand corner, you see that we run from 0 to 1, and each of these ticks is going to be a tenth. Well, 1 hundredth is going to be a tenth of a tenth, so it's going to be right over here. It's barely past the 0 because it is extremely small. So 1 hundredth does not take up much space. It's going to take a hundred of those, that's why it's called one hundredth, to get all the way over to your hole. And then finally you see on our hundredth grid here, one hundredth is simply one square out of a ten by ten grid. Now let's look at another one. Our next benchmark quantity is going to be one tenth. So that's going to be represented as 0 0.1. Think of it like 10 cents if you're thinking of money because that's our tenths place right there. So a fraction is going to be 1 tenth because it's read the same way in the decimal and fraction form. And once again, our percent is going to be 10%. That's just something we need to memorize. Remember, if we're going from a decimal to percent, we can take our decimal, move it over once, twice, and there's our percent. Add a zero in that blank, and let's drop that zero right there, so 10%. Now, if we're looking on our number line here, this is going to be this first hash mark right here. This is one tenth. It's going to take ten of these tenths to get all the way to your hole. And then you see on our hundredth grid, now we have ten over one hundred, ten hundredths. That's going to equal the same as one tenth. Our next benchmark quantity, twenty-five hundredths or zero point twenty-five. Think of it like a quarter when you're thinking about money, it's going to start looking a little bit different with the fraction. Because 25 hundredths is 25 over 100. But when we're looking at fractions, we're always going to look at, at it in the simplest form. So really, when you think of 25 hundredths, you need to think of 1 fourth or 1 quarter. And so if we were to draw 25 hundredths, the simplest way to do that would be to literally draw a strip diagram here break into four parts and shade in one. Now your 25 hundredths, that's going to make 25%. Remember, you're going to take your decimal and move it over once, twice, and that's going to get your percent here. Now when we're looking at our number line, we see here we have, this is our 0 0.2, and this is our 0 0.3. So our 0 0.25 or 25 hundredths is going to be right here in between the two. And it's one fourth or one quarter of the way until we get to our one hole. And then finally, you see in our hundredth grid, we have 25 hundredths. But remember, 25 hundredths is really the best way to think of it is one fourth. Our last benchmark unit is going to look a little bit different. It's got three tenths repeating. And that bar up above three means that threes really go on forever. They never really stop. And so the most accurate fraction is going to be one third. It's approximate, you see these wavy lines, means it's approximate to 33 over 100, but that's not quite right. This one third is the best. The percent is best represented by 33 and a third percent, not just 33 percent, it's that one third that lets you know the three goes on forever. You can also represent it by 33.3 repeating percent. On our number line down here, it's gonna be right down about here between the 0 0.3 and the 0 0.4, and the 0 0.3 repeating is going to be right there. And you see this is the best representation here as 33 over 100, but that's not quite accurate because it's about 33 over 100, but really one-third is the best.